So before I start this video, I want you to know that this is more or less a remake of what I've already made before. So if you don't want to watch it, then that's okay. Also, I would like to mention that this is probably my last Sunday video. It's hard to get a lot done when I find myself always making a video, making sure the camera's there, and then going to edit. I'm, I'm pretty bad at video specific things, and then I'm equally as bad at editing. So there's a lot of time spent with that, and I would much rather spend more time actually machining things. So with that being said, I'm going to have videos every Saturday from now on, just once a week, every Saturday. So I mean, the one time that I did that last week or two weeks ago, it worked out great, and I just had a lot more free time to do uh, the things that I needed to get done, and they got done on time. So that is the reason for doing that. make another one of these things to put on the other side. So here is the table where my powder coat oven sits on and right in this area is where I cut the last tool holder out of. So I think I'm just going to keep on going. The stock size needs to be 12 and 3 quarter by 3 by and it's 1 inch tall. That was all I got back from my woodworking days. Put the hammer in, measure up from the bottom to see how tall we need to bring the tool to face this side off. This side's basically already faced because it was like that from wherever this was made. Now I have the shear hog in here going to face this off and I have it set at three. So that's three from the bottom of the vise, three inches. Got my parallels in there, set this on here, dirty side up because I want to face this side off, this side's not so bad. Almost put in my quarter inch end mill in there and then realized, oh, I gotta redo this thing because we're not even close. So I got the access holes drilled very disgustingly, I guess. And now I'm just going to put a drill in there and manual it down. It's set, the zero point is right in the middle. So I'm just going to hover over where it's close to here and here and then drill straight through. And that'll allow us to put a bolt through. So I really wish I had a uh, drill press for most of that project just because it would have been a lot easier. I wouldn't have to use the machine to basically use it, using the machine as a manual machine. She's a little lopsided, but that's okay. I don't really understand how that did that. I lined it up, both of these the same, they were both the same lined up in a wide direction on the mill. So. 
I don't know. It's not a big deal. Pretty much I'm just rushing through this project just because I just want it done. And it's not really a big deal. I don't want to consume a whole lot of my time. You missed that. I just drilled these holes for an M6 bolt. I'm going to thread them. Use a little bit of a uh, weight loop to glue it before I thread it. Especially when power is happening. I don't have any actually tapping fluid, so that's why I use the weight loop. So that's it. Now I can hold 10 tools on the machine itself. And I was just like, I was only like three or four slots short. I only had the one with the five saws. So I, I usually had around, I don't know, five to 10 tools for a job or whatever. I don't know. The drills really got in the way. These, you don't really account for those. I was like, oh, you might need a quarter inch end mill here in the spot drill, the shear hog, uh, facing mill. That should only be five. So that was my original thought when I made one. And then I forgot about, oh, I need a few drills here and then a few drills there. And then the whole thing's filled up. So glad I got this one made. And now we can move on from this project. I hope you enjoyed watching me make that again. It wasn't terribly bad. It was a little bit quicker than last time. The holes didn't really line up. And that I blame that on my drilling. I used a hand drill to, to locate the holes for the top M6 bolts. And that got a little wacky there, so I used the old hammer to give it a little tap, give it a little bit of encouragement to line the holes up. So I think that's it for now. So thanks for watching.